we will start from displaying the physical product. In the front, we have three LED indicators. The first is indicating soil moisture. This LED will change colors corresponding to the soil calibrated moisture values. The second is the sensor indicator, which indicates proper connection of the different sensors. The last one is the Wi-Fi indicator, which indicates for Wi-Fi connection and will turn red when Wi-Fi is disconnected. In the top, we have the device monitor and a button. Every click on the button will display another measurement the device currently measures. This includes temperature, humidity, moisture, and light level. As for sensors, we have the wire soil moisture capacitive sensor, and in the top of the device, we have the temperature and light sensors. We will now display the application. In the home screen, we can see the current measurements. There is an indication if the device is online. The soil moisture field will be colored in the same color as the moisture LED on the device. Next, we have the statistics screen where we can see on a graph the measurements values from last day, hour, or week. Lastly, we have the recommendation screen where the soil moisture calibration values can be seen. In the sidebar, we have the settings tab. In settings, we can change the display timeout on the device. We can also set the interval time of sending data to Firebase. Moreover, we have a tab for soil moisture sensor calibration, a tab for changing Wi-Fi while device is already connected, and a tab for setting Wi-Fi through access point when device is offline. We will now demonstrate the calibration process. For that, we prepared dry soil, slightly dumped soil, and highly wet soil. We will start by calibrating the dry ground value. In the application, we will go to Soil Moisture Calibration tab. Let's click on Dry Level Tuning. The monitor on the device will alert for ongoing tuning. In the application, we can see the current moisture values. We will wait for stabilization and click Finish to set the dry ground moisture value. We will repeat the process to tune the mid moisture value and the high moisture value. Lastly, we can see that the sensor is now calibrated. For example, now when the sensor is in highly moist soil, the LED is turned blue as expected. Thank you for watching this short video about IoT Smart Garden Project. For more details, you are welcome to visit the Project Git page.